Hello, Possum Stramer Smith here in Alpha Craft in front of our mini meat hall. And if you want to see me build that, check out last time's episode. I'll put a link in the description. But today we're going to be building the village that goes around the meat hall. I have marked out some spaces. So we've got a house there, a little shed here, uh, stables here, and then a few more houses. It's only going to be a little village because the idea is this is just for raids. So yeah, there's not going to be a plethora of houses. So I'm just going to build them up. A lot of this will be time lapse, but we'll start with oh, me trying to get up. We'll start with frameworks. So I'm just going to do log frameworks and then join them up. And then we'll just build houses from that. So I think, just to start with, uh, another time lapse might be in order. And there definitely will be tutorials for some of these. Those noises are weird. The train whistles, I don't get. All right, I'll pop into a time lapse and we can get building.
and there we are one Norse Anglo-Saxon Edoras style village to go with our mini meat hall and all upside down stairs and top half slabs are spawn proofed with pressure plates I love that we can now have matching wood on those and I've done a little bit of detailing just to start with not a lot you know fence posts gate standing in for decorative carvings uh, spruce trap doors on top of those here and there I've got to work out what else to do but oh, that's a work in progress at the moment and I have started doing the interiors but only started most of them have got floors I've got some beds in and beds are usually in little alcoves like these for added warmth because the snow's just over there so it's not very far and I have started dividing some of the houses some of the larger ones into rooms so we've got a room here a little room here I'm going to put probably I don't know a furnace and a loom in here and then we've got a bedroom up here with beds and we'll just come up to the stable because that's what this is and this is very much a mini cut down version of Thaden stables from the Lord of the Rings films I thought it could stand having a tower in the middle and I was right it could that worked out quite well I was really pleased with that but we've got little stalls here for the horses I've got to put gates in yet and we've got a straw floor and because this drops down so far at this point you know it goes from one story to two I popped a little room in underneath for the stable master this will probably be storage space Uh, we've got to put farms in. I'm going to put one here and one here and I think those two little pieces of farmland will be enough. This, As I've said before this doesn't have to be a huge village it's for raiding. I don't want it to spread out too much. What I need to do next, oh, there's still a fair bit to do. I've got to shift this and it's going to go under there under the mead hall. I was thinking of putting it in there so that when people came out they got a good view of the village but oh that's a bit conceited on my part. People are coming here to raid not to have a gander and if I put it there it'll end up in the nether tunnels more or less over where Sea Love's tunnel is so that's that's not going to happen. <laughs> so it's going to go under the mead hall. I also have to do a palisade and a ditch <gasps> and there's a horse Yay, we can get a horse. We're going to tame a horse. Come on, horse, you're... What? Yes, 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 you don't like me. You will. Oh, really stubborn. Oh. Yay. Our first horse. Just got to get a couple more. Now before we finish up, two things, doesn't matter how long I stand under them, those are not rotting down. And there is no wood attached to them, so that's just weird, I'm going to have to get up there and actually knock them out. And two, every time I try to sleep in here, I get told there are monsters nearby, I won't do it now because it's saying only at night but the worry is I can't hear anything and there's monsters nearby so I think there's a cave underneath probably with creepers oh, I can hear skeletons now okay there's definitely yeah there's definitely a cave under here and it stops me using that bed there's water there's skeletons we need to get under there and have a look. Yes, yes, I should have a shovel. I don't. Sue me. It's definitely something under here. There's 
So if we look about here, I'm just, you know, worried about creepers. Oh, where are they? There. Ow! Okay, that's one. There's another one. Oh, did you see him? I did. Come on back. Oh, there you are. Right. Let's see if we can get down there. And as I said, you know what I'm worried about, creepers. How far do I want to go down? Well, there's the water we could hear. What about down here? Zombie. I think this is now fine and we should be able to use that bed. So I'm just going to fill this back in. Hopefully that's now safe. All right, the sun's setting and the stars are coming out. Let's see if we can sleep in here. Have I actually fixed the problem? Yes! Yes! I can sleep! Woohoo! Ah! <sighs> That's one problem solved. So there we have it. Fixed the problem of the bed, got our first horse. Still a lot left to do, but a lot achieved today. And if you want to see more of my building style, click on the end screens that are up now. And on that note, all the usuals, whack the like if you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already, there's plenty more where this came from, and I'll see you next time. Bye!